From Ronnie O'Sullivan's fiery clash at the Crucible to Jimmy White's charged dispute with Ben Williams, these are some of the moments where snooker players lost control. Kicking off our list with the intense Crucible clash of 2004 between Quinton Han and Andy Hicks. Han's temper flared right at the end when he didn't take his defeat lightly, resorting to a cheeky poke at Hicks as they concluded the match. Good. Well, no me. Hi. So, Andy Hi, Hicks, much, Andy Hicks. Has had own boxing tonight. Oh, some lean know. seasons. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey. This is some compensation. Hey. Hey. I'm waiting for right there. Oh, a few words, a few words. Another unforgettable moment when Ronnie O'Sullivan and Mark Allen clashed during their match. O'Sullivan believed Allen was moving behind his eye line to distract him, leading to a heated confrontation. Ronnie, can we just play on now? I think Mark will be careful now. Can we just stop that argument now, please, and play on? Guys, it's time now. Please. You are not going to believe this next one where Ronnie O'Sullivan received a warning from referee Olivier Martil. Not one to be easily admonished. O'Sullivan shot back with the defiant, you saw nothing. Hey. Ronnie. What just did you yeah. see? I see. I, I saw it. No, 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 tell me. What did you see? I'm not going to see it. I'm not going to see it. You tell me what you said. Saw. You saw nothing. All right. You saw okay. nothing. Don't look at the camera. Mm. You saw nothing. Okay. I'm, I'm not. And Judd. Nothing to do with Judd. Sorry. Yeah, but I had to say something, Judd. I had to. I could have said it after the game. I had to. Whatever it was Judd said to the referee, well, you could have uh, had a word after the game. Moving to a tension-filled encounter, as Ronnie O'Sullivan potted the ping, he didn't hesitate to voice his impatience. He urged the referee to speed things up, even saying, you're so slow out loud. Sixth. Ronnie, just making sure the referee can... Ronnie O'Sullivan and Ali Carter bumped shoulders during their match. Though they laughed it off, this unexpected nudge was a rare sight in the world of snooker. Well, not what he played. He was trying to get in behind the black dirt. And <laughs> he smiles away. <laughs> yeah. Oh. But they've had a laugh about it afterwards, sir. Uh. Jimmy White's discontent was evident when he noticed referee Ben Williams seemingly laughing at him. Expressing his concerns landed him a stern warning. <laughs> Jimmy, I'm going to give you a warning. Just stick, just stick in your finger. You did. I'm giving you a warning. If you do anything further, it will be the frame to your opponent. Tebchaya Unu was very close to a maximum break. However, a slip on the last black cost him a £44,000 prize. And £44,000. Oh, no! Would you believe it? Well, well, words can't describe how bad he must be feeling. What a moment it was in his career in his snooker career, in his life. I can't believe it, now. During the match he. against Selby, Ronnie O'Sullivan contested the referee's decision of a touching ball. Not mincing his words, he advised the referee, get your eyes tested. The yes, object ball and the cue ball are all together at the same time. He doesn't want to leave this touching. I think it is a touching ball, and Ronnie is just coming out to question it. I know the referee's wearing glasses, but... Uh, he says it's not. <laughs> well, I, I'm sorry, Ray. Now, Ronnie, just yeah, just settle down. Just don't get yourself upset. No, I hope it doesn't upset him too much, Dennis, because. Following closely, Ronnie O'Sullivan expressed his dissatisfaction with the placement of the black. He pointedly boldly to Terry that he had to correct him twice. 
O'Sullivan is a true professional in that he aspires to play the game perfectly. Nobody can do that all the time, but he Check achieves it in patches. And even his second best is extremely formidable. As it goes, by miles. Yeah, is there a problem with the black spot? Yep. It, it, it wasn't doesn't. Like that before. Yeah, it is not. Yeah, it doesn't. Uh, it rolls terrible. off. Terrible. Just spot. play the shot, please. It's terrible. You've done it so it don't go. No, it goes. Yeah, it goes now. That's, because that's, I've told you to put it on. That's why I checked it. It's terrible twice. Just play the shot, it's please. Twice. To tell you. In a queue signed by this snooker legend to enter, subscribe to our channel, like the video, and drop a comment with which part of this video was your favorite moment. Adding to the list of tensions, Anthony McGill displayed his irritation with Clark. The latter seemed to repeatedly disrupt McGill by moving or standing behind his eye line. Jamie, come this way, come this way. No, 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 listen, listen. It's no big deal, but if you're in his eye line, we'd prefer you to be on that side. No, no, no. Leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it. I know. No, 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 it's good. It's good. Tensions can run high at the crucible. Gary Wilson's frustration was clear when a shot on the red went awry, leading him to smash a foul shot. The pace of that shot perfectly. Love to get that red away from the black area. Oh, he's missing. Oh dear, and well, he'll be fine for this. He was 25 points behind, more than enough points on the table to still win the frame. And that concession will immediately result in a fine for Guy Wilson. You're not allowed to concede a frame when there are enough points on the table to win. Si Jahui managed to snooker Luca Bressel. Despite Bressel's best efforts to find an escape, he couldn't. In a surge of emotion, Bressel displayed his frustration by swinging his cue and lifting a red ball off the table. Well played. Where's the cue ball? Needs to pull up. Oh, it might be a snooker. He might have a snooker behind the angle. You don't see that very often. Luca came to the table. Um, He's faced with a snooker. The angle of the pocket has snookered him. He's going to have to swerve this. If he gets too much, he could go in off the green. Are oh, we? It was impossible. That. Foul. In fact, the. Uh, four. Oh. And the frag. During a face off against Ding, Ronnie O'Sullivan shockingly missed what seemed like an easy shot on the green. Unable to contain his frustration, he tossed the rest onto the floor. Well, he'd be absolutely enraged. Absolutely enraged. You could say. In the quarterfinals, and then that, the Miss Green, the rest flung across the arena. Morgan's spirited celebration took a jarring turn with a notably forceful handshake with Ebden, sparking whispers across the snooker community. I mean, it probably looked uh, a bit bad, but it's so, it's so funny. Ronnie O'Sullivan's dissatisfaction with the cue ball's placement led to a tense standoff with referee Terry. According to the screen, it's yeah, no, not in the right place for Terry. So you need to get the right place. Yeah, but can, can you help me, please? OK. Is it correct? According For more snooker videos, click on the screen right now.